All right, uh, here we go. Uh, uh, Danny B, 602, decided to kick it here. Came out to the High Lounge tonight. How we doing? Appreciate you as always coming out. That's right, dude. So I uh, uh, appreciate you popping down, sitting down with me. You know, uh, this will be the second time that I've done this, where I've just said, hey, let me bust out the equipment. And then, like, kick it and, and chop it up. I appreciate it. I love this natural going on. It's, it's been us in our natural environment. And that's where I was like, I was like, dude, I talked to so many people at the High Lounge that, like, I should just, like, pop open the equipment here. You know, obviously, I like to do my, my, uh, my shit live, right? So I can read the comments, but it's whatever. No, it's chop it up. Yeah, we got it. So, uh, um, so, yeah, so one of the things that I wanted to talk to you about, obviously, is, like, you got a, a lot of connection going on with, uh, over at the coffee cafe yeah. so you do a lot of things going on yeah. over there um uh you know why don't you tell me a little bit about that no right now we're going through we have some construction going through there me and the partner ocho we took over now with the gm to win it so now day-to-day -day basis operations we're going to take we we'll dropping our calendar finally this week by the end of the week so we can finally get our stuff filled up going through there so so you guys took over all of the planning all together? Yeah, we're gonna take off and go on about day-to-day operations of that. The only thing we don't run is the coffee cafe itself, the cafe itself. I mean that's still gonna be the family based one. I'll okay. want to take up. We have the cafe in the back, just keeping it with nice vendors. We have their relationship to finally go through and just trying to build a community. Same thing with you got you all done here. Yeah. No, and I know that uh, you guys have had uh, events down there already. What yeah. are some of the events that you put together? We have to help put them all together going through there. A lot of people we sit back in the line sometimes and we're not getting the vendors out there with the nation. just not only helping ourselves, we have a group of people that sit there and want to throw the events, want to have the gaming nights and stuff like this. And so we're just trying to help them put little pieces together and help us work all market each other going well. The whole reason we got into this whole thing is going through because I have my brand coming out, rebranding re re my mom's brand and add to it, Goodies brand. So they allow me to do my marketing there. No so I'll be the house. It was like free. So now we can do that. Well, let's get some events out here. Let's get some fun going over here. Get it bombing. We live on the west side. Okay. And after that, you know, we were here, here four or five times a week when I was working on this side of town. So we come here, stop by, sit here, do my daytime, sit there and bullshit, you see me out in the corner, do my thing. No. So now I stopped working out over there. I came back and, yeah. Now I'm just come out here for fun. Yeah. No shit, <laughs> man. Uh, uh, what do you think has been dope about having events and the weed community that you know you've seen at the events the actual uh, community itself like there's some dope ass people that are actually trying to get in there and do it for their life i mean there's a lot of people snakes in the grass who say that other means and money wise yeah we all want money at the end of the day but at the end of the day we want to keep them out of this i don't want to stress anything we want to do we don't want to stress anything we need life I like to come here so love. We got free abundance. I just love to right. look at the flowers. Shout out to Abundant. Right now yeah. we are. Uh, we're at 422. Yeah. Uh, abundant yeah, came down to the High Lounge. Blessing everybody in here. We've got a, a nice crowd that came out to support. I'm watching them uh, pass out uh, full melt dabs also. Uh, uh, fresh, got, press. Uh, fresh press. Um, so uh, impressive over here. Uh, here we go. We got Adam uh, passing us over what slabs. they've got going on now slabs. slabs right this is this is rosin this is a rosin slab okay press, press shout it's out good. to these good guys who are popping out here tonight showing love like i said they're giving eight now we all like I know, that some man. love i came it, up there just trying to look at the thing and they popped me out oh here's and, this and then they're boom they're handing you a dab right there live i think i got my i think i have imagined <laughs> I'm next over here. I'm sure he's going to hand me one now. Where is my buff though when you need one? I'm going to have to go find that. There, oh, look at it. Now, go ahead and just there we go. throw it in there for me. Let me get that opportunity. We're about to get a, a buff go dab in here. There we go. My man Adam. Shout out to you. Putting the blunt down. We're going hash. We're going hash. Um, check out that abundant is tasty as hell. <laughs> yeah. Have a couple things. Nah, man, mentioning that too, the, the West Side really did need a spot they can go kick it, right? Yeah. Like, I mean, I noticed that, you know, with me opening up the uh, this lounge here in Tempe in the East Valley. Again, shout out to Adam for this uh, dab right here. Um, a lot of people driving from the West Side, man. A lot of people. Well, well, there it is. Like right? the other day, like I'd be over here, you saw it going through there. Multiple yep. times a day, not even like go back to work, clock in, and come back on the way back to work. And yep. just come through there. All right, I'm going to hit this dab right here. Pause for the cost. What is 
Yeah. I'll tell you, shout out to Bunny and some grits. <laughs> That's what the fire is. Wow. I didn't get what he yelled at. Oh, that is tasty. <laughs> that is tasty. <laughs> I want to, um, Rabbit over here was a, a little critical of Abundant Organics. Not only that, shout out to y'all. Like, you gotta keep going out there. The whole night you guys are doing, continue going. Like, this is what we like. That's what we're trying to grow out there as well. Oh, yeah, you guys are, bro. We'll, well, we'll talk about that right yeah. now. Rabbit, blue cheese. Have you tried it yet? Fire, right? Yeah, that's right. Woo! Damn. Okay. Nice. Huh? That was good, huh? Nice. All right. So, yeah, you guys are building it out there, you know. That's how you know it's organic, I feel like, and pure when, like, it builds so quickly like that. Because when you have people go somewhere and they vibe out and they come back, that's how you know you have something dope. But I know that might sound like no shit, but it doesn't happen. No, exactly. Yeah. yeah. It, it, like you, there's lots of people that try to build lounges or yes. or try to uh, put together events. I'll be honest, there. And they fall flat like, because it's not. There's a, there's there's got to be a positive energy smokers get when when it's another smoker yes. putting on the event, right? I think that's what it is. We try to throw these events. And everything we do is because we do it. They need the whole from our brand just because that's how we smoke. Going through that to the market, we like these events going through that. We can make it better, help other people go through there. Good people, why not? Like, we maybe can get it all together. Like, we have this place going through that we have a chance that they can let us, everybody market. So we can have them go back and forth. And I don't see that. Yeah. Through, we're all building. Yeah, we're building. We'll be here for y'all's big nights. Girls have with the Homie Project Faction. We'll be out here for the dojo. Let's be that. Like, yeah, right? Be there. So, that was a big that. deal. Congrats on that. Bro. Yeah, so, man. Uh, we've been trying a lot of shit over there because we have a bunch of the homies. Shout out to Rob and all the Jay and all the homies that kick with us over there. Yeah. Yeah, so it's just, we've tried a lot of this stuff and like we're excited to hold yeah, on. It's, it's, the industry out here in Arizona is definitely growing. It's been tight to watch, participate, and, you know, smoke. Every quarter, I feel like there's something new popping out yeah. in the industry out here that we're excited about. Um, so, okay, so let's touch base and back of what happened with, like, the whole, like, coffee, like, posting up saying, like, hey, we're permanently closed. That was a, that brought a shot. Yeah, that was just, like, an internal thing that I went through without malice thinking kind of stuff okay. going out there. So not only that, so me and only being third party into it, we kind of, hey, this is a business. Now. We've built something here. We can stop it if y'all want which nobody wants, but we could do it somewhere else. We build something. Yeah. So we got everybody on the same page. What's going to be the worst? We in the buying one. We're trying to get in our and help them out. Like, they're family to us, so we're not letting anybody out. So we have a little hiccup over back. Yeah, of course. And that's what small business is. I think that, I think that what almost, maybe consumers in Arizona are being kind of, Oh, I don't know how to put it, but it's like basically like there's not a lot of mom and pop operations going on in cannabis because of how expensive it is. Yes. So like it's almost like now people go into some establishments expecting it for it to be like this this like uh, just rolled out big plan, big money behind it, all these things. But it's like when it comes to lounges right now, it's like. Where there's there's not it's mom and pops it's yes. uh you know like for my trying to find a new way to me and the homie out here uh, Joey um uh, and yeah. uh, and we we do uh, blessed to have Matt a part of it as well shout yeah. out to Matt and then and then boom we look at over at uh, Coffee Cafe yeah. and it's a uh, husband and wife and, and they're out there trying to figure it out That's what it was. And, and to the point of where like a situation between us can cause yeah. conflict in the business and yes. it's like man that's how small business mom and pop really is operating. You're Something not seeing a day. lot anymore exactly. because, uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's hard for us to all compete. Yeah. So, well, I'm glad to hear that that was resolved. Yeah. I, I hope that, like, this new partnership will build some stability for you, for yeah. everyone involved. So, now we have an opportunity to not only like enjoy what we've been doing using the space, we love the space, we love hanging out there, like, we love the family. Yeah. So, so, we can completely build it out and make them happy, whatever happens. It's, I that it's was a dope world. spot. So I actually have not been there, and I was upset with myself because 
when they posted that up, I'm like, damn, bro. You never even went and fucking smoked a blunt in that bitch. Like, that's fucked up. Uh-huh. I got a lot of calls that day. And so I was like, away. damn, right? Why don't you tell us? I was like, I didn't even know. No, so, <laughs> I'm, so I'm glad that it's back because I want to get in there. Because what yeah. I've seen looks fucking dope. It looks like yeah. a, almost like a, a hidden oasis, like exactly outdoor patio exactly situation. It it's like almost like we built, not only do we have two outdoor patios, we have a small little lounge, kind of like this one too, where we can go inside and get some hot food. But it's beautiful night. You can be outside, so we don't have to worry about it. no one else just talks to you. And the city is loving what we're doing. Like they're giving us, I continue doing it, doing it good, I'm making sure, checking our, crossing our T's and dotting our I's. Good, nice. Making sure we're here. With them. Yeah. They want to build going off like we do, as long as we do it smart. We're trying to build a community going well. They don't want us sitting there driving around in our cars like we used to. We go smoke the one and drink and drive. Like, no. We have a spot we can go to. We can sit there and offer them space. And we do everything legally. We're not selling them out of that. Everything we do is on the up. We don't touch them with all these kinds of things. You have to be legal to be there. Like, we got rid of everybody. It wasn't. Yeah. Before we got to those stuff going on with Delta 8s. Man, I, I, yeah, yeah, exactly. All of that dealing with, like, the, for me, I was parking in a, in a you know, apartment complex yeah. tucked in between a couple cars yeah it's yeah. like I mean it's like, I can't knock the hustle but like yeah. we're all on up and up now where we've graduated to and I can't have it around me I can not only put my business on this side that's what we do other aspects yeah and, and I think that like it's a it's an obvious business it's not like this is you know lounges are going to be a thing yeah you made it where too it's a recreational um you know, uh, re- some recreational we can do. Yeah. So we're not only going to want to smoke at our house. Yeah. We're going to want spaces. Yes. So, and other states out there are doing lounges. So, you know, I don't know. I hope that we get an opportunity. And when I say we, I'm talking about mom and pops. Yeah. I look at the, you know, how they, they're handling the licensing of selling cannabis. That's going to. And I, and I hope that, like, we get an opportunity and not to get pushed out you know and oh, and, everything else has and i think that we're leading the way yeah. when it comes to lounges out there you know right now that are pushing forward on it and uh showing that there's not going to be any negative ripple effect to the community exactly. because there's a lounge in your community yeah uh, in fact same. you know we look at it it's going to um benefit your community because i think it's going to bring the community together. Yes. Multiple times we have people come in and they're, you know, by themselves. They sit at the bar. And I say all of a sudden now they're in a circle of people. I've met people hang out with nowadays just a place like this. Like, yeah, no shit. I mean, rather than jumping bar to bar, like, I don't drink as much as I used to, so rather come here where you still have to say nasty because it's a sports bar. So yeah. We, like, that's, we come here all the fights, all the sports games. Yeah. Every Sundays we were posted here chilling. Doing chilling. Out. So it's like, yeah. So. It's like, you know, like, that's off to you, bro. You're the one running it. Do it off and we just, we're lucky to jump into it in the west side, so. So let's talk about that new business you got going on. Uh, is that the Good Guys promotion? We have Good Guys of Arizona. What it is, we're a marketing firm going off. Not only do we help other like people with their marketing going off, um, we're working with B-Lock for 98.3 radio station. So we have exclusive rights to them going off where they're giving. We're trying to merge the community with cannabis and radio legally. There's little baby steps we're taking to it. So we're giving it PG completely to But we can, we can be one of the first in there getting actual like commercials. I want to be one of the first cannabis companies with like commercials on it. And we're helping Man, that. Wow, right there. Because there's no, there's nothing stopping anybody right no. now from doing any type of advertising exactly. in cannabis, right? Because exactly. they haven't written any laws. No. Against it, maybe outside of like it's still taboo, but it is what. So like TVs, right? Like because like I know that you can't advertise some things on TV when it comes to like alcohol and cigarettes. Yes, exactly. But like marijuana, that's not a thing right now, right? No, but it's hard to keep PG where you like advertising marijuana where you can't show some smoke. People in the circle having to get time. You can't. There's so many things where you have to baby step around and still. Oh yeah, they are smoking maybe and get it going off. We're trying to be taboo where we're Remember not. Remember those old school commercials from Trail? Yes. Trail! Exactly where it's like, oh, you need a tint set, so Bro, but I the- swear to God, I thought that shit was like a, like a snap-on uh, commercial. Like, right? it's like, it's it was the dude. same like font and everything. For the longest time as a kid, I would see these commercials and be like, damn, they advertised their tools really right. weird. It's fucking out right fast. And I'm like, yeah, so and it wasn't it wasn't until later on I caught on that now. Trails was about getting fucked up, like all Some kinds of hardcore shit. Trails is fucking yeah. crazy, bro. Yeah. 
That's where you go meet people on trails. It's like almost like you meet people here. You walk in, let me go grab some smoked out, let me go grab some cigars. I'm leaving bro. with a couple of new homies because hey, yeah, smell good. Yo. Hey, sap, sap kind of thing, and just yeah. Trails is legendary. Yeah. Shout out to yeah. Art, the owner of Trails, man. That dude's a legend. Uh, you know, <laughs> obviously these days he's he's out of his mind, but you know you got to respect for what history that he's put down for us uh when it comes to smoke shops and uh right. I, I was i worked there for a Did little you? bit yeah 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 yeah, awesome. yeah so uh i got to know firsthand what it was all about there and it was fucking sick man like the things we were able to do there were like no other smoke shops were able to do like even things like just being able to say bomb well, that's right? what's the funny part is like when i came from new mexico i moved over here 2000 2007 2008 we had our smoke shops out then but it was completely PG over there because you couldn't market you couldn't go out like that we couldn't have big parties it was weird it was almost you had to be completely professional so when i come here i move next to the trails and it seemed like it's almost like a party in that right day like exactly so i like well now we can even have like one than four or five people at ours at a time without yeah hey, what are y'all doing over there you guys yeah. telling me like no. what location yes well, this is it back in the next little oh okay and i used to one of uh, right there off of uh i grew up by chris Dan. Okay. I think going after old, right? That one off Indian School in uh, yes. 27th Ave, I think it is. Or Troy, yeah, Troy mm-hmm. Street or something. Oh, man. That was the, old, the, the one that was like a cabin. Yes. Yeah, no, that one is legendary, man. It was like. There's like a little. there's You know, there's like an uh, apartment uh, above that. Store. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that's there's that's, that's some stories behind that uh, location. It'd be interesting to find uh to do an interview with someone over at uh trails uh, and right? tell some stories from that shit, man. Yeah, because exactly. like, like for <laughs> for smokers in Arizona, trails I think you know for, for people that have been around and smoked for a long time in Arizona, the trails is a pretty big part of like yeah. us grabbing pieces out here, and uh, there's a few out there like Paraphernalia Parapine- Boutique. Yeah, it's all good. There was some that like were dope, but then they like for whatever reason. Uh, fell out like um, turned into like the corner head shop kind of things. Yeah, they just for whatever reason fell <laughs> yeah. out. But but man, what a trip though. Uh, yeah, man, Arizona man doing its thing out here, smoking. I see you uh, trying to find a carve away, carve your lane in there. You yeah. got companies you're popping out there. Um, what's up? What's next coming up for you? What what people looking out for? What do they need to go I and uh, jump out? Okay. Like, we're running the Moss line and had to goodies. So I should start production here within the next month, actually. Okay. I already have six offers where I want to go now. I'm just playing my chest and wood glasses I want to go under. And from there, I hit play and run. Okay. I got my production team up and going so I can be in shows within the work. Do you have the, all the domains or the IGs that I can have find all the it? IGs, my domains. Drop it on goodies. them so that way they can find it. DBGoodies.com is my Instagram right now. Uh, DBGoodies.com will be the actual handle going through there. Okay. So I'll be up and running here like shortly. There it is. Yeah. You're about to see it. You're hearing it here first. That's what we're doing. <laughs> uh, actually, too, now that I said that hearing that here first, it reminded me you wanted to drop something uh, about because I know that there was a lounge tour yeah. we had talked about. Yeah. And you had, you had mentioned, you know, obviously now you took over yeah. with a booking over at um uh coffee cafe so what's going on with that tour well Our, this morning i guess we got a phone call this morning that they wanted to pull the plug on it so we're going through with it and castle it and going through it you know wish everyone the best of luck and i wish we can go forward and hopefully get something going in the future but okay it seems like a great idea okay they want to do it just to get the snows and everybody going through but i guess for some reason everything wasn't going to line up properly in our hands okay so i guess yeah done pull the plug pulled it done man so yeah, I was wondering how that was gonna work out. I thought it was a steep ticket. Yeah. I thought two fifty might have been a little bit, you know, yeah. too much for what was going down. Um, but I was waiting to see how they rolled it out. You know, yeah. depending on what you got with it. I know they talked about feeding people and you yeah, know, we were trying to what, actually you know, make it worth it. was a steep ticket, but we were all actually trying to make it work where it was worth it. Yeah. I'm a starter to do it too. My first thought is what I paid. Yeah. Not only that, when I paid the four fifty for me, I made my date, my girls. Right. Like I'm going to take somebody with me. Am I going to like? Yeah, that's four fifty like, for as a. It's, it's worth it if it's worth the whole day, but it has to be an experience. It has to be. They're not good. I can go do something. Yeah. 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 Make something out of it. So we'll see if that happens uh, in the future, um, and how they scale it out. If it does end up continuing, it, now you're just saying uh, Coffee Cafe is out of it. It's still as of right now. Something they're doing, or Actually, I don't believe. It. I think they pulled the plug. And totally uh, oh, the whole thing's been pulled. Okay, yeah. shit, damn. Okay, yeah. they're gonna go back to the drawing board. Yeah. Sounds like all right, and that makes sense. You know, what I mean, uh, figure it out. 
they probably because it is a good idea, like yeah. I say, it is. But then they, when they started putting the logistics together, probably ran into some things that they didn't consider. And that's where it's at though too. And I want to say like, yo, like that's okay. That doesn't mean that it won't happen. And I want to say like, look, that's how it really gets down when it comes to businesses like that. Or that when you're trying to do new things and new ideas yeah. like that, you're gonna run into snags. Don't be afraid to pull plug, yeah. regroup, and try to come back. Rather and do it and properly than do it in improper way. Let's, gotcha, let's make it an experience. Let's do it right. Do it right. right. Sit there rush, and then yeah. you're never going to do it again if you do it wrong. Do it. And that's what I'm saying. Your first impression is the only impression you're right. going to get, on a, on a, and especially on an inaugural event like yeah. that. So, so uh, again, we, uh, we got Danny B602 kicking it at the High Lounge with us. Appreciate you coming through and blazing it up, my dude. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so, marijuana, uh, thank you for popping in. Uh, we're doing this uh, randomly. You know what I mean? I'm at the High Lounge. You never know who I'm going to be kicking in. That's right. You nice never little know. Tours, nice little smoke. Tasting great. Yeah. So, thank you. Now you can go hit that dab wherever. I got it right here. There it is. <laughs> go, go enjoy that dab, my friend. I appreciate it uh, as always. Marijuana. Shake and bake. We'll be back. <laughs>